Why, hello, hel well, hello, 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 and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to this uh, Q&A session that we have for you as the system kind of gets warmed up and everyone can uh, jump on here. Uh, I want to uh, just welcome you to today's call. Very excited about what we're going to cover today and uh, let you know that there should be, depending on where you are watching this, there should be a way for you to uh, to communicate with us. There should be a chat or a Q and A. Uh, I believe we're we're broadcasting um, out of Facebook as well as YouTube. Um, wow. So right now, on either side of this screen, you should see a place where you can uh, ask us questions, um, and we're going to get started with that. So I would like to actually start with that just uh, uh just type into the q a form uh the the words found it so that uh we know that you know how to communicate with us because this is a this is a q a um and that's uh important that that you can actually communicate with us so if you would do that i would appreciate it uh it, it does probably take about uh 20 to 30 seconds after you submit that found it uh, to actually show up here on my side. So it's not instantaneous. Just be aware of that. And um, uh, in, in just a second, we're going to be get, getting underway here. I want to welcome you to today's call. What we're going to be chatting about today is specifically how to go about starting a sketch note business or a visual note taking business. Uh, and I see the comments coming in here. Great. Uh, we got from Efren and Linda. Thank you so much for that. Uh, that lets me know that uh, we are good and, and everyone can hear and see. So with that, um, I want to welcome you to today's call. Uh, what we're going to chat about today is um, something that's uh, that has been in the works for probably a year and a half, maybe even a little longer. Uh, and that is the visual note-taking consultants kit. Uh, and with that, I want to introduce uh, my uh, longtime friend, co-collaborator, uh, business partner, um, Lisa Rothstein. So let me let me bring Lisa on. Lisa, hey. hi there. Hey. Um, so glad that uh, you can uh, be by and uh, and answer some questions today. So uh, just a bit of back, back story. Um, Lisa and I did a uh, a product about what four years ago five years ago now oh, yeah, yeah, I think so, I think around that time yeah. like that and uh, a component of that course was um a the idea of sketch noting as a business um and for that um that became very very sort of central to people's interest and it it became very clear to us uh, over time uh, that we really needed to flesh that out, give folks a lot more than what was there uh, and completely redo that part of the training. And there's a lot more that we're, we intend to cover. So uh, what we decided to do was to, uh, to actually do a whole new built from the ground up training called the, the Visual Note Taking Consultants Kit. And uh, I do, in fact, have a sales page for it right up here um, that you so can. Convenient. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> how, how convenient. Uh, we actually haven't started um, to to uh, uh, to sell it yet because essentially uh, we, we really want to kind of lay the groundwork and, and get our first beta students. In other words, we're looking for beta students in this call. So that's one of the things that I wanted to do is to ask some common questions and then have you ask common questions. So if you are um, if you do have questions as we go, I suggest that you get the questions into the chat sooner rather than later, again, because it does uh, take a little while for it, for it to show up on uh, our side here. Uh, and, um, and then as we go through that, um, let's... Um, Let's answer your questions. So, and then um, I'll lay out the opportunity it, for those of you that are interested in um, being beta students uh, of this before we actually launch uh, launch it uh, big time to to you know 
uh, to the general marketplace because it's not. Uh, you you are here because either you're on um, my a list of friends um, or or on Lisa's. That's the only reason the only only reason why you got an invite um, at all. So it's this is not publicly available. I will just also say that as well. Um, and what I want to do is I want to I want to first start off by having you, Lisa, kind of describe uh, what what uh, visual note taking is um, and kind of how we we got to this point so that we got a we have a good foundation for folks to understand what this program is. Right, right. So um, so visual note taking is exactly what it sounds like. It is a um, it is a way of doing um, taking notes in a way that with pictures, not just words. So here's a here's a like kind of a rough version of of the of what we're of like our what's the messages that are on our sales page. Um, and it looks a little bit you know it's doodly and it's fun and it's it's rough, but it 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 works and it's it's really it's really fairly simple to do even if you think you can't draw. And I know that a lot of people have a hard time believing that, but um, most of the things that you'll, you're going to learn to do in the visual note takers toolkit are things where it's where it's really um, very very simple. Um, where you've got you know you can have you can create anybody can draw a circle, and so if you have a circle and you make and you make a little V like that, now suddenly you have something that that symbolizes time. And if so, if the person is speaking and talking about time. Are talking about um, you know uh, being maybe things are late or maybe thing and so you can put words next to it and things like that or if people are talking about money there are easy ways to to draw pictures that symbolize money um, and I know this I'm going really fast here but frankly there's not there's, I'm not doing anything here that a person that any person couldn't do um, there are ways to draw people that are better than than stick figures I know but a lot of people I know say they they can't do anything except for stick figures, but most people can draw a star. And then when you when you draw a star, you've almost got a person. So these are the kinds of these are the kinds of things that we that we learn to do in the visual note takers toolkit that that you could then kind of piece together to create um, you know notes that help people really remember the takeaways of a meeting or a conference or a um, a virtual uh, a virtual event. And um, so it doesn't only have to be pictures, it's also words too, but the pictures help to really, really help people with their recall of what, of what people actually said and, and make it sort of an instant thing. When you look at the picture, I remember everything that that person said for 90 minutes, even though instead of going through his entire PowerPoint deck and things like that. So, you, you know, I get, to, I get to do this as a, as a service and sometimes I do it I, sometimes I make quite a lot of money doing it. Sometimes I do it for free because I want uh, to get into a conference that I otherwise would have to pay to get into, and I want the visibility. Sometimes I do it for nonprofits, you know, and then I I do it I then I do it as a as kind of a gift. But you know, I I've been paid up to ten thousand dollars for just a morning doing this, depending on who the client is. And it doesn't it's not because I'm the best artist. It's because pe people who have put on are putting on events and meetings want the people there to remember and implement what they're learning and it, it the the level of artwork is um is not as important as being able to listen well and remember and you know and, and express quickly what people are saying in very very simple drawings right so so lisa the just so just so everyone is is real clear on this really what you're saying is that we do these visual notes at conferences, at seminars, at online events like webinars and, and online summits, etc., for a fee, essentially. Right. Usually, it's it's those folks that um are like the uh the the the, the people that like the meeting planners, uh, the organizers, the promoters of these events that that mm -hmm. hire folks like us, right? Yeah, exactly. And sometimes you're doing it on a Zoom meeting, and sometimes you're actually um, doing it live. Like here I am holding my iPad. That's me holding my iPad, and um, and you could be I could be live at it at a conference where people actually are. Sometimes I will do it just by myself. Sometimes they'll hook me up to a big to a big monitor, and you'll be able to see what I'm drawing on on the monitor. 
um, it used to be that people would stand, would go to these things and you would have somebody drawing with a magic marker on a big board. You've probably seen this on a big board like this. I frankly don't do that anymore. Um, because uh, there's a lot of logistics involved. There's a lot of um, hassle. Nobody really knows what to do with the artwork after it's finished, and it's not as easy to share. So when I right now, I pretty much do it all on my iPad. Now, I will say that you can also do it on paper, like, in a, like on a piece of paper, like a piece of typing paper size, and then take photographs of it and put it up online and stuff. That works as well. But if you have a tablet, it just it just makes things so much easier to to share, and it also means that if you don't like something you did, you can you can easily erase it and and just and just change it. And so I can I could change I could change what I was doing here in in like two seconds. And you see how simple what I'm doing here is. And these are these are still things that you can actually, you know, look at and go. Oh, I understand what's happening in this picture. See? Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, yeah, so thanks for that. So again, for uh, those people watching, uh, if you do have questions about this, um, uh, please get your questions in into the chat. By the way, Efren uh, Efren here says uh, that this it really attracts attention, um, and in fact, that these sorts of images um, you don't forget, which is the reason why people hire you. By the way. Um, this this exactly. is exactly what, this is right, right. This is exactly why they'll do that, right? Because because it's 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 yet another deliverable um, that helps attendees to 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 take something away from the time that they spend on a webinar or at a summit or on a or at a, a seminar, right? Like in a in person, right? Event. Exactly. And look, if you're yeah. doing it like virtually, like for example, on is like I get hired to do these things. Um, on Zoom meetings. So, like what you're seeing right now, I you know I've got I've got my virtual background, but I've also got my um, my 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 setup, my my uh, computer set up to be able to project my screen into the meeting. Um, and that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about in the in the course is how to how to do that technical setup. Um, but you know, but there there's many the advantages to the to the event planner or the media or the person running the meeting are many. One is, if, especially if you're doing it virtually, and people are so tired of, with the Zoom fatigue and everything. When I when I do these things live and they can spotlight me in a Zoom meeting and people can see me like like um, people can see the drawing coming to life while they're listening to the speakers. It's very engaging. People don't go don't drift away to look at their phones or the, or the other tabs in their computer. They feel much more um, involved. Number one. Number two, when I'm doing this, um, when it's more of a, of, a, of a meeting where people are contributing and not just sitting and listening to a presentation, then it's a great way for our company to get everybody's voices included. And, it, and it's very so, it's, so in that respect, it's very good for the diversity and inclusion um, trend that's so hot right now, so important right now to make sure that everybody feels included and, and everyone can say, well, this meeting couldn't have been an email because I can see my contribution right up there on the picture. Um, so there's that. And then so so it's during during the meeting, there is a, there is a um, an advantage. And then after the meeting, as Daniel just said, you've got an artifact for people to refer back to. So instead of it being a seminar where you sat there and you took a lot of notes in your notebook and you look at it and you go, I don't remember why I wrote that down. You take a look at the at the sketch note. And even though not everything that the person said is in there, there's enough in there, the tent pole moments are in there to where you look at it and you remember the entire thing. It all comes flooding back even months later, which is super valuable to anyone delivering content like that, because how would you like to, to arrange like say a three day virtual conference and you spend all this money and all this time and studies show that, that, that 24 hours later, 75% of what people heard is completely forgotten. So, we're able to help extend that value and you know make it permanent instead of temporary and so that's um that's really the value of what we do it's not just it's fun it does get attention as um as Ephraim said and that's great but the value extends way beyond that and that's why people pay so much money for it i don't hear you uh daniel are you muted yeah i was go. muted uh, so and there's a, there's this huge market for this because it's it's like it's like we you know I don't know 
your last uh, your last big you know webinar or whatever that you've attended. Uh, you know, lots of times these are pretty pretty boring, and this is a way to kind of spice that up, right? To to make it more yeah. engaging, more fun, more interactive, uh, and allow people to to get some you know some massive value uh, that they probably would lose otherwise. Um, Absolutely. I, we, yeah, we do have a question here from Barbara um, it, that I want to uh, cover. It's a really good question. Uh, so let me just point it, put it up here. Barbara's asking, what equipment is, uh, is necessary uh, to make this work? Thank you for that question, Barbara. That's a, that, glad you asked that question, Barbara. No equipment is absolutely necessary. I Before I got my iPad, I would sometimes do this on um, impromptu. One time I was at a, I was at live at a seminar and I wanted to do it. So, and I wasn't hired to do it. I was, I just decided to do it because I thought it would be fun for me and also for the other attendees. Also, it's a great way to get business to, to, to create a sketch note and then share it. But I just took a piece of paper that happened to be lying on the table. In fact, I think it was, um, I think it was somebody's promotional material. Like it was their flyer, but I took it, turned it over, used the blank side and used, I had some markers and I, you know, so you can just do that. But what I have, what I, what you're seeing me use right now is an Apple iPad pro and an Apple pencil. And I, I like to use a, an app called procreate, which is only like $10. And then I have, um, you know, a setup that's a little bit um, more complicated here in in my um, in my office to be able to you know switch between these cameras and things that you're seeing me do right now. But um, it's really not it's it, it's not a lot it's not a lot of physical equipment. It's mostly software. So I'm really just using my laptop, my iPad, and i and i the Apple Pencil and um, and an app really. Um, and that's that with just that you can do a lot of a lot of things. Um, but again, if you just have if you just have markers and paper, um, the, the only thing that, that that's difficult is you really can't project it. So you might need a document camera or you might want to take a photograph with your phone and put that up on online and stuff like that. It's really a lot easier when it's already in a digital format. So. And it doesn't have to be Apple equipment either. I mean, Android, uh, Google makes a Surface Pro, and and um, and they and in that case, you would use a different app, probably like Adobe Sketch or something like that. Um, but they're all pretty available, and it's not that expensive. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and you, yeah, you, you don't even need the latest. You don't even need the latest greatest model, and you can probably get a used, not a used iPad, but maybe a used one. But uh, like a, you know, the late the 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 next to latest model, last year's model is just as good. <laughs> For this kind of work and, and you can save some money doing that if, if you're concerned about cost of equipment right right yeah but for the most part um like i have my old my old ipad that i use for it and uh, i did i did invest in a apple pencil which i think was a hundred dollars i think mm. yeah the, app, that, that never really changes barbara's also asking how do i get the color in here well that's that's the great thing about about um about having an iPad because I have, look at all, I, it, it comes with all the colors, right? I mean, it comes with, and, and you it comes with all the different brushes and stuff. So I have, if I say, if I click on inking, I can have, you know, this kind of a brush or that kind of a brush and it comes out, it looks completely different. Um, I have a few that I just like to use. Um, then I can just make whatever colors I want. Oh, wait, excuse me, I'm just not getting, not getting it, see? I can make whatever colors that I want because they're all there. So it's like, it's like having, you know, the Crayola 64 crayon box, like times a million. And then also it's not just crayons, it's, it's paints and inks. And, but frankly, I have a few favorites. I've created some favorite brushes. See, I've called it Lisa's faves. Um, and the, these are the ones I like to use the most. And you see, there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that I've picked out out of all the hundreds of thousands that I could use. That I use that is my go-to ones that I use all the time. So, but any color I want, I can just I have it right here. You know, I want purple. I have purple. I want I want pink. I have pink. See, yep. Yep. so it's it's it couldn't be simpler. That's that's another reason I love the iPad. Right, right. Um, okay, we have another question here from uh, Linda C. Uh, let me put it up here. 
Uh, have you used a rocket book and where it's raceable, but you can share via a QR code? You know, I, I bought rocket book when it first came out. I don't think I have the latest one. Um, I liked it because it's, it is an erasable thing. And it was before I had an iPad. I've not used rocket book for this, but you could, you could. And I, and I think that's kind of interesting to share via QR code. Um, I would check it out. Um, and if that's something that people are interested in, I would check it out. We can look and see if we can put that into the, into, into like a bonus training or something. But if you have a rocket book, um, look, anything that you can draw with, if you have something to draw with and something to draw on, you can do this. The most important thing is, 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 is to be able to listen to what people are saying, capture it in a, in a, in a concise, clear way and share it with, with both the event planners and hopefully, you know, all the attendees and uh and on social and all that kind of stuff so if it and if your setup allows you to do those things it doesn't matter what the hardware is what the software mm -hmm. is awesome right yeah and that and that's another great thing about this is you basically regardless of where you are uh, or what you have available you can do this business uh, if you have an iPad or a tablet, it makes it probably a little bit easier, but not not absolutely required. And you do one or two jobs and then, boom, you have enough to pay for an iPad uh, or, uh, um, uh, or, or your tablet of your choice. Um, OK, great. So we have a, another question here from Jim um, who asked the question, when will the kit be available and do you have a price um, set yet the the answer is that the great great question thanks for this question jim um that uh if <clears throat> uh, we come back over here um this this is a this web page is actually set up at danielhallwebinars.com forward slash vnt for visual note taker um and essentially you can get you you can you can get the beta version here right now uh and this is the first time i'm telling anyone about it uh just uh, just today hooked this um uh the, this up um but the uh the thing is is that we're we're going to be doing live classes on the 18th and 19th of this month uh so in other words the weekend of the 18th and the 19th we're going to we've set aside for uh, to to two days. Um, and, and Lisa, why don't you take a second and uh, tell folks about what we have in mind uh, for that. Oh, and the price, I know you want the price. Right now, uh, it is a special beta price of $250. I think that's what I put up on it. It will be more. Yeah, we, I don't um, I don't even remember what you decided, Daniel, because yeah, we're... I, cause the point is that, that we're that, doing That's this what live. I decided. I said, yeah. Anyway, so... Yeah. Um, so why don't you tell folks about what we have in mind for the, uh, the the live beta sessions? Right. So what we're going to be doing is we're doing it live for like three to four hours per day, two days in a row. There'll be some breaks and whatever. The whole lot point is that we're going to be doing it live and recording the lessons and then turning the lessons into a product um, that will be that we'll be selling for a lot more money later. Now, and there probably will be some things that we won't get to within those two days and we'll add on as bonus lessons, also depending on the questions that you ask. So the people who are going to actually attend this are going to have a little bit of input, or a lot of input into what's act, what the content actually is. So I'm going to have a specific curriculum that I was going to give you all the basics of how to get started doing this and all the, uh, you know, how to draw certain kinds of icons how to listen for the right things to draw, how to set up your, your, your space to know, like, so that you don't run out of room while you're doing it, um, how to get work, um, how, to, um, how to price your services. And, you know, there will be some drawing instruction. So people who feel like maybe I don't know how to draw things. Um, I mean, I know it's easy for me to say, oh, you don't really know how to draw very well. The fact is, if you can do circles, squares, and triangles, like you did in kindergarten, you can draw at the level of sophistication that you need to do for this. And I know when you've seen other people do sketch notes, you might have seen some very sophisticated looking beautiful things, but frankly, um, those don't do any better in terms of uh, recall and stuff like that than the, th the things that I do are actually pretty, pretty rough compared to some of the ones you could see. And I'm here to tell you that even your most chicken scratchy drawings are, are if, if they help people remember what, what the person said in the meeting, 
it doesn't matter if it looks like Leonardo da Vinci did it or not. In fact, it's probably better if it doesn't. So we're going to do some 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 drawing training, but a lot of it's going to be strategy. Like how do you how do you uh, lay out your your notes? What do you do if you miss something that somebody said? I have a couple of really ninja tricks about how to be like almost like superhuman and being able to remember and see what people actually said and how to keep up with what people are saying, um, how to share your images, how to get more um, uh, deliverables out of the, the stuff that you're creating so that you can get your clients to pay you more because you're not just giving them this drawing, but you may be giving them some ancillary materials. And I see Efren asked about animation. We're going to talk a little bit about that too, because some programs actually animate your, your drawings while you're making them. Um, your clients don't need to know that, but they, it, it's, it's something that you can provide at an extra cost. Um, you know, so how to price your services, um, depending on who on who you're going to be working with, how to get people to notice your work and hire you, um, and um, I'm trying to remember what else is in there. But that those are those are the generally the the things we're going to be talking about. So you can come in knowing absolutely nothing, leave with some some the, the basics of how to of how to draw visual notes, how to listen and take notes, how to get people to hire you, how to practice kind of incognito if you're not ready to 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 let people see you in public or what to do if you're a little too shy to maybe share right away there's ways of of of, of doing it so that you can kind of test it out for a while before you you know before you feel like you're ready for prime time um it, a lot depends on on how bold you want to be but i but i think you'll be really amazed and 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 pleased to see how how much love and and appreciation you get for doing this, even if you don't think it looks very good. Um, it, people really, really appreciate it because they need, they know they're going to forget all this stuff and the, you're helping them remember it. So, um, so those are the things we're going to be covering. Um, and, you know, we will go also into the technology, um, you know, what, 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 um, hardware and software that I recommend, what other alternatives that are, are out there. What to do differently if you're attend if you're doing a conference where you're going to be there in person versus how to set yourself up at home from your laptop and what kinds of um, enhanced equipment you could have like this you know like this uh, the software that I'm using right now to 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 show you my iPad right now um, and to go between me and the iPad and stuff that looks really impressive but it's really not that hard. It's not that hard and you do not need a, a huge video studio to make this happen. It looks like I've got one, but I don't. So we're, I'm going to share those secrets with uh, with everybody, too. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So um, thank you for that, uh, Jim. And by the way, for those of you that um, want to know uh, in, in, if you want to be a beta student, I'm going to actually post the, the link to it uh, right here, I think think that is going to everyone. Um, if you could just, if somebody could just uh, click on that and let me know that uh, that is uh, working, that would be awesome sauce. I, I think it is. I hope it is. Um, it was a second ago, but you never know when things go live. Sometimes uh, it, it don't work. Um, okay. So uh, we, did we, did we cover uh, Efren's uh, question on animation? Do you no, animation? we didn't. And I'm glad he asked because Efren, uh, okay. I know it sounds like I'm like, I'm just basically sitting here working for Apple and selling the iPad. Right. But so here's, here's that little sketch I showed you before um, that, that basically talks about the, you know, the, it, it's sort of the, uh, the cliff notes version of the, of the, uh, visual note takers consultants toolkit sales page. So I drew this in the Procreate app, like I told you about before. And one of the features of that app is this animation feature, a time lapse replay feature. And if I click on that and I play that, it's going to show you every pen stroke that I made to um, to make that um, to make that image. So it basically it it, it just in order takes down every every while you're doing it you don't have to do anything extra it just takes it down so you can see it tells the whole story of everything that was on the that was on the uh the image so because it's sequential so what I, what a lot of times i'll do is i'll charge extra to my clients to give them this after the fact they don't know that i don't have to do anything extra 
to make this happen. They don't know it's just something that that gets spit out of my software. So I give them this and it, I charge them anywhere from 500 to an extra thousand dollars just to have this. Um, also, I can I can give it to a um, to a video person or if you're if you're a video editor yourself, you I'll, I'll play it for you again. Isn't it cool? Um, it um, you can put a voiceover behind it, like oh gee, it's such a snooze fest to go sit in uh, in meetings, but what are you supposed to do about it? Oh, what what if, what if you could make money taking visual notes? Well, um, you really can do this, and everybody's going to be super impressed, and it's a big wow. Um, uh, and you'll make all kinds of money doing it. You can even make $3,500 a day, but you know, I don't think I can draw, so maybe I can't do it. But yes, you can, because I'm going to show you how in the Visual Note Takers Toolkit, and that's me. Um, and uh, you know, you're going to um, you get all these you'll get all these messages asking, "Hey, can you draw my meeting? Can you come to my event?" Um, and very using very simple drawings, um, you'll be able to. Um, to be able to, you know, get a lot of clients and you'll know, build your confidence and you'll make a lot of money. And so anyway, see, anyway, I mean, I'm just doing a, a quick and dirty voiceover there, but you could actually record a voiceover or have somebody else do it on Fiverr or something, add some music and turn it and turn your sketch notes into like a little commercial for people. And I mean, people are willing to pay a ton of money for that. Um, in so fact, that's, you know, yeah. In fact, I think if we go back to our, uh, our, our page here, um, I think I think I could actually roll it and and show you exactly what 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 happened right when uh, we did w exactly what uh, what. Oh what yeah, the, when we made yeah. The, the video for the page. I don't know if people if we will be able to hear it. Um, will we be able to I, hear I believe the they will. Uh, and if not, um, they could certainly go to this page. But here it is. Yeah. Meetings and seminars are a big snooze fest. Engagement is at an all time low. It's a huge problem, but what if you could solve this problem, have fun, be creative, and make big money doing it? You can when you become a visual note taker. Visual note taking is just what it sounds like. These highly paid pros record what's being said in meetings and seminars in pictures, not just words. By using simple drawings, they wow attendees and make meetings so much more memorable. That's valuable. How valuable? Visual note takers get paid to attend seminars. $1,500, $2,500, even $3,500 a day. Even capturing a 90-minute Zoom presentation from home in your pajamas could net you $1,200. But I can't draw, you say? Well, we've got you covered. Introducing the Visual Note Takers Toolkit, the all-new training that will give you all you need to start your own lucrative business as a visual note taker. Who am I? I'm Lisa Rothstein. I spent most of my career as an advertising copywriter, but I'm also a cartoonist featured in the New Yorker magazine. A few years ago, I fell into the world of visual note taking by accident when a friend asked me to sketch at her event. But during COVID, that part of my business blew up. Everyone was stuck on Zoom and was desperately looking for ways to make it more fun and engaging. Visual note taking is the answer. Even when it's not beautiful, everyone loves it. See, the secret is, you don't have to be a great artist to be a great visual note taker. You only need to know how to listen and draw simple shapes and symbols like circles, squares, and stars, just like you did as a kid. Inside the toolkit, I'll teach you how to draw a vocabulary of simple shapes representing thousands of ideas, how to decide what to draw and what to leave out, what equipment and software to use, the differences between in-person and virtual events, how to get your first clients, how to price your services and ensure you earn the maximum possible even if you're just getting started. How to develop your confidence in your style and so much more. Look, if you can be a good listener, you can be a visual note taker and make a great living having fun, attending fascinating seminars and helping people have better, more engaging, more memorable meetings. And right now you can get the visual note takers toolkit and start learning how to make this your side hustle or even a full time career for a crazy low investment. You could easily earn this much or more with just your first visual note-taking gig. You should be charging double or triple the small investment you'll make today. So jump in now before the price goes up. You might be asking, why am I sharing this with you? After all, you'll be my competition. Well, as I said, demand for these services is blowing up. There's no way I could do all the gigs that come my way. In fact, I regularly have to turn away business and send great clients to my competition. I want all those clients to be served and make boring meetings history. There's still room for all of us. So join me now in the Visual Note Takers Toolkit.
There you go. Yeah, so, I didn't even get the name. This is so new, I didn't even get the name of the product right. It's the Visual Note-Taking Consultants Toolkit thing, whatever we're calling it. But it's, 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 I, you know, it's so funny. I did that voiceover myself, as you could probably tell. Um, but, you know, uh, we, we just gave it to a, a very, very inexpensive video guy to add some music and a few effects. So you saw some things kind of moving around. I didn't do that. Um, but it's easy to just uh, hire out somebody for, for, you know, a few dollars to, 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 to make everything look even more um, sophisticated. But frankly, most of my clients don't even require that. They just I just take the raw video off of my iPad and we just add some sound and that's all, you know. So it's really and it's really true what I said in the video. Um, I know people are like, well, why are you teaching people this? Aren't you worried that they're going to take away your business? It's like, how can I do every meeting on, in the world? You know, there's so much work. Um, and even though there are other people who do this, most people don't know anyone. Like I'm like, of, of my circle, I'm the only person I, who, that any of my clients knows who does this, even though there are many other people who do this and it's just not that common. So, um, it's, it's, there's plenty of, there's plenty of work. Or, um, to go around, so I don't, I don't have to worry about about sharing what I know with you guys. And also, you know, I I went through a lot of uh, of trial and error, you know, trying to figure out like which software to use, how to do this camera stuff that I've been showing you and stuff. I I just busted my head against the wall trying to figure out like, well, how can I show my iPad in a Zoom meeting and not have to just, oh, okay, let me share the screen. It's and then there's that whole that whole awkward dance about sharing the screen. And I was like, oh, no, I just want to be able to just, just change you know, my camera to the iPad. Why is this so hard? So I, I found out all this stuff by really by doing a lot of research and digging and finally arriving at the solutions that, you know, I can save you a lot of time by just saying, no, this is what you should just do. This is the easiest way to, to, to solve those problems. Um, and also, you know, when I first got started, I was very, nervous about like, well, what should I charge? And I don't really know. So I went and kind of, you know, stalked everybody I could find who was doing this and find and, and the ones who would, who were willing to share what they charged. I figured out like, okay, here's what, here's what people get for this. You know, some people are higher, some people are lower. You know, I generally get maybe $2,500 a day is like the average. If, it, if it's a full, if it's a day, if a day long thing and, and or if it's for three days, I might get 7,500 bucks. Or um, you know, or ten thousand, depending on how big the client is. Um, and for a for a um, like a ninety minute webinar, I usually I don't go usually don't go below fifteen hundred at this point, unless it's a nonprofit or some or some group I really want to get in front of, and I'm trying to, you know, I need the I need I want the visibility, and I'm doing some kind of a barter arrangement. Um, um, uh, Sanjita says, I don't know if it's just me, but clicking on the blue button does not open the order page, Daniel. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's, um, uh, and, and, and that says it's the same for her. So, so, it's, well, so, okay. so you, you are absolutely in the beta, in the beta, uh, um, right. uh, <laughs> zone of this, of this product. We really, it, it, we are, we are building the plane as we're flying it. It's going to be an amazing training. Um, you know, because I'm basically going to share everything I know. That's why I don't really know if we're going to cover everything in the two days. I, I didn't, I, I could have made it like a week long thing. And, and, and Jenny was like, no, like what, what's the, how can we give them what they need in a, in a, in a limited amount of time? Now, of course, once we record it with you guys, we're, we're going to split it up into lessons and stuff. And then people will be able to take it at their own pace and they can take six, six weeks to learn what you're going to learn in a, in a weekend. But if they want to. Um, also, I'll be honest with you, a lot of this is going to be down to practice and you're going to need to actually do things and practice, but I'm going to give you, um, ways that you can practice kind of behind the scenes incognito with nobody watching so that you'll be able to develop your, your skills and your confidence before you go live, you know, but you might find out that somebody needs you to kind of go live before you think you're ready. Oh my God! I'm having a Zoom meeting next week. I really need someone to do this. Can you help me? And you and if you if you if you step up and say yes, you'd be surprised how um, how well you'll do even when, even before you think you're ready and how happy people are going to be, you know, and how much they're going to be willing to pay you. And you're going to be like, I I just started doing this. I didn't even know how to do this last week, and now I'm getting paid all this money. They don't care. They don't know. They just like having the notes from from their um, from their seminars so that people can. So that people don't forget it, in, you know, in 24 hours, you know. 
that that's another um, another really important thing that I want folks to understand is that um, in addition to the the actual training, um, we we have set up a private um, Facebook group uh, that is just going to be for students. That's it. It's just for students. Um, so here you will be able to interact with Elisa and I, and more importantly. Um, potentially get new gigs here, right? That, that's that's sort of the the idea as well. So uh, it's it's not just uh, you know you you know we're selling you into this program and um, le we leave you to your own devices. That's that's right. Oh, here's helpful. a good example. What you're just saying. Here's a great example. I am I am uh, going to be doing. Um, don't tell anybody, but I'm going to be doing it for. I, I decided I wanted to go to the seminar that, hap that happens to be coming to San Diego where I live. It's expensive to, to attend, um, and it is uh, it's several thousand dollars just to be an attendee. And if you want to be a sponsor, it's like $15,000. And I'm like, wow, I really want to be there because a lot of my ideal clients are going to be in that room. But, you know, it's, it's happening in May, and they've probably already done all their budget and everything like that. So I'm thinking, gee, wouldn't it be great if I could get in there for free if I would offer to do some sketch notes for them? You know, normally a, co a, 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 um, a conference like this, I would be charging them, you know, between seven and ten thousand dollars for the three or four days that I think they're going to be there. But for me to be able to be in the room and network with those people and also to create the, the sketch notes that they will all see um, is, is, su is super worth it for me to also to not have to spend the three or four thousand dollars on a on a um, on a ticket. So I just had a meeting with the with the person who runs the conference. And she's thrilled. She's like, oh, but we don't have any budget. And it's like, don't worry about it. This one time I would like to do it gratis because and but here's what I'd like from you. I'd like you to broadcast my images. I'd like you to give me some credit. I'd like you to, you know, put me in the vendor directory. And she's giving me all the stuff that's worth thousands of dollars worth of publicity. And, you know, yes, I'm giving her something that's very valuable for free. And normally I wouldn't do the work for free, but I want to be in that room with those people. And in front of those people, I know I'm going to get a ton of business from it. So it's a win-win for, for her. But here's the thing. If it was not in San Diego, I would say this is not for me because I'm not going to go traveling and spending money on, on, um, on travel to then go work for free. I and mean, that's not my thing. But if it was in your hometown, I might say, Hey, you know, why don't you go and, and, and offer to do this, um, you know, or why don't you go and pitch them? Maybe they do have budget. Maybe they would be willing to pay you two or three thousand dollars to come and sketch their event. You know, one of the reasons that these folks didn't have budget isn't because they're, they're too cheap to pay me. It's because the conference is like in, in, in like six weeks and they've already they've already allocated all their budget. If you get ahead, if you're if you're you know, if you if you get in front of people early enough, then they still have money to spend on stuff like this. So that's another part of the strategy we're going to be talking about. Like, when do you contact people and how do you, you know, how do you evaluate whether it's worth it to do, to do a free, a freebie or not? Um, and, you know, how can you, how can you um, get eyeballs on your work, even if you're not attending the conference and things like that. So, yep. so a uh, couple, we have a couple new questions here. Um, um, Let's see. We have one from Jim who who asked, uh, "Will you be emailing dates for the live workshops?" Uh, yeah, as soon as you sign up, um, uh, you'll get all of the dates. You'll get an email uh, with all the dates. Plus, there you'll land on a thank you page with a PDF with all the information that you need uh, to register for uh, the two days of classes. And and once again, because this is beta, beta, and beta one. Um, we, we realize it's, it's rough. It's not all polished and all that. That's one of the reasons why uh, it is at such a low price, especially for the intensive that you're going to uh, get. In other words, you're going to get lots of, uh, you know, Elisa's time and, and attention for just you. And, that, and that's the other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that each and every one of our beta students is really, really successful with this, uh, which is one of the reasons why you know, we've made it just so that you can learn it quick uh, and get out and start practicing it. And then and then also have uh, Lisa's support uh, with it as well. So one of the things that yeah. that we want is sort of the, the quid pro quo um, is we want you to be successful so that you come back and you give us 
um, some really good social proof. You get you tell us your stories on how you got hired, et cetera, et cetera. And they go on, um, you know, on a promotional page like this. It's one of the reasons why we're, we're doing it in the way that we're doing it uh, so that we can. So it's not just one person's social proof. That's Lisa's. It's going to be all of yours. Right. That'll all be on this right. page. That's, but that's don't worry here. about sharing your successes. Don't worry that there's going to that there's not going to be enough work to go around because there's plenty of work to go around. And a lot of people who don't even know about this, who never real, it's one of those things like you didn't even, you didn't know you wanted it until you see it. Most of the people who have hired me have never hired a sketch noter before. They saw me doing it somewhere. They're like, oh, we should have that at our next thing or where I'm having a meeting next week. Can you come? And it's like, it's like they never thought of doing this before and they see it once they see it, they want it. So it's, it's, you have, there's plenty of work for, for everybody here and for everybody that anybody, any of you knows who'd be willing to go ahead and do this. So, um, uh, yeah, Victor is answering Michael's question. Michael asks, can you actually sketch in real time on a computer as fast as you can draw on paper? Absolutely, absolutely, Michael. Actually, I think I do it faster because I don't worry about making a mistake. I'm not sitting there going, you know, if I'm on my, if I'm on my iPad, I don't do this. I'm, I, I love playing with this, with this software. If I'm on my iPad, you know, if I'm, if I'm drawing on paper, I'm like, oh, is this like a perfect circle? I don't know. I'm like all nervous. But if I'm doing it on, 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 on here, if I don't like it, I just undo, undo, undo. It's just, it's easy, right? It's easy to, it's easy to correct mistakes. When I say mistakes, it's easy to change things if you don't like them. Um, and so what's really cool also is um, if you are using um, a, um, a uh, digital tool, a tablet of some kind, let, watch what happens here. Now, I don't usually do this because I actually like the rough look. But you might like you might decide you like something more precise. I'm going to make a circle here. Watch what happens if I hold down the pen. Ooh, it just became like a perfect. Well, it's not a perfect circle, but a perfect oval. So, like if I drew it like this, like imagine I drew it like this, but I hold it down. Look, it just it look what just happened. I'm making a square. It's not a perfect square. Oh, it's not a perfect square now either. But at least the lines are straight. I'm making. I want to make a straight line. I hold it down. I have a straight line. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with the um, digitally that you can't do on paper. I know I, I keep saying it's okay if you do it on paper and it is, it's just, this makes it faster and easier. So I would say it's actually faster. And look what I can do also. I can just, if I don't, oh, I want to, I, I don't, I want to move. I want to make some more room. So now I just move that over and now I have, now I have room to do, you know, to do other things and do other people and whatever it is. Oh, I, you know what that, and, you know, I need to make that smaller and move him over here. I'm going to move, I'm going to make him smaller and move him up there. So now I have all this room to do something else. So I, so it's very forgiving um, is what I, is, is, and that's one of the things I want to make everyone understand is that, is that you, you even if you think you're doing it wrong, there, there's lots of ways you can just like uh, course correct and fix things as you go. Um, so that you don't, it, there's really no fear the way sometimes with a piece of paper, you might think, oh, I'm going to mess this up. But when you're doing it digitally, you can't mess up. And even if you did mess up, it's, it's, everything's temporary, right? And you didn't, and, and also for people who care about sustainability and stuff like that, I mean, I know that's not the biggest reason, but it is, you know, you're not wasting paper. You're not doing, um, you're not doing, um, um, you know, you're not using resources except for a little bit of electricity, right? So, um, so there's that. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. And I don't know, uh, I don't know why our, our little order buttons aren't working. I just tested it and you're right. It, it was working and now it's not, but uh, I'll, I'll figure, figure that out and send an email out uh, as soon as it is. Uh, but the, mo the more important thing is uh, because you're going to you're going to have time between now and um, the 18th and 19th to uh, to sign up for this class. So there's no there's no huge hurry to do it um, now anyway, because I want basically we wanted you to know what the deal was um, go kind of going in. Uh, and one of the things that I wanted to uh, to do um, is that there is a. Um, uh, you know that there is this page and let me go back to it here where i want to just kind of go through um what what you're basically getting uh, at least what we we intend to give you again th um, this this is not um, a yeah i'm sorry go ahead no no it's okay uh, daniel i'm hearing seeing questions um, the, um annette is, is probably trying to help us out 
maybe because the counter, the counter clock hit zero, maybe that's why they can't order or something like that. Michael says he doesn't see order or pricing buttons there um, and things like that. So um, yeah, it, it is set for $250, I, I think. And like I said, as soon as uh, I'm not sure why it's working, but I want to I want to continue to concentrate on you all and I'll go. Fix yeah. It. In a oh, second. and Michael, Michael also asked, I just want to finish this up. I, Michael, Michael said, even using layers. Yes, actually. Yeah, Michael. Yeah, it does take a little extra time um, to, to, to put in the layers. But, you know, once what I what I like to do is just I would have I would I would have like layer one would be the line and I make sure that like layer two was like, you know, color. So I you know, anytime I was going to be drawing on layer one, I'd be doing this. And then if I just I would I would just move to um, to layer two to like you know color things in so you can see like how i'm coloring this and it's going over the lines but the line is still showing and i can just clean it up later when when someone's telling a boring story that i know i don't want to sketch i can go back and fix something up like that so you know i just i just try to make sure that i remember which layer i'm on if i mess up i just i just i just collapse them together and then i just make another i just make another layer too and um but you know like anything else you get you get faster you know, you get faster the the more you do it. So, you know, and you also you can learn to, you can learn to do stuff like what I just did, like drawing with your eraser, like that 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 little um that little highlight I just put on this balloon, um you know came from just erasing the erasing the color. So little little tricks like that can save you some time. Yeah, awesome. Um, all right, let's uh, let's go back over to here and. Um, we, we have, a, we have about, we have about 15 minutes. Um, so if you do have additional questions, um, please get them into the chat now. And, um, and, and Lisa, if you could, uh, talk us through, um, you know, some of the highlights here, the bullet points of what they get, that would, that would be, that'd be awesome sauce. Okay. Awesome. Can you, can, can you make it a little bit bigger? I'll make it bigger. I can see it. So um yeah <laughs> step step by step guys that have you beautiful sketch notes i say beautiful um, um clear and readable so is what i'm is what i'm looking for and you might decide they're beautiful because they're so useful um you know even if you think you can't draw your way out of, out of a wet paper bag yes um obviously you know you you're, you'll, you're going to need to you know kind of get over your fear of doing that but that's one reason why i like to work digitally but you can see we're just talking really simple but the, literally the stuff you learned in kindergarten is what is is the level of uh, of skill that you will need to do this. And then if you, then you'll then once you develop a little bit of a style of your own, if you wanted to be a little bit more creative, then that's fine. But you don't ever have to be. Um, um, yeah, the, the strategies that make it that make your visual notes look great and make you look like a genius every time. There are, are ways of, of 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 changing your notes, like after you've done them and moving them around to make them make more sense, adding more spaces and things like that, um, and how you organize everything. Um, and uh, the yes, yes, we're going to be talking a lot about um, about using the iPad. Um, and I'm not sure which hundred dollar piece of equipment. Uh, um, Daniel is referring to. We must have talked about it, and I and but I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure it'll come back to me. Um, yeah, I want you to be able to negotiate um, be, the best prices that you can. And I know there are some people who just who are willing to do all kinds of work, all kinds of creative work for next to nothing. The people that you might see on Fiverr or Upwork, but we don't want that for you. We want you to be somebody who gets in front of a client and says confidently, "That will be twenty five hundred dollars, please." And then, and for them to say, well, fine, that's that's reasonable. Um, um, uh, how By the way, Lisa, that, yeah, that, that 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 was a that it was a document camera. The uh, the, the hundred dollars. Oh, okay, all right, yes, yeah. okay, a document camera. Yeah, so right. we we do we do use that sometimes. So, for example, a document camera is exactly what it sounds like. It, you know, it look, it goes it looks down on your um, on your. I, I think I have it on here right now. I think I have. Hang on a second. I'm going to see if it'll if it'll do it. Cameras. Uh, yes, I think it's this one. Yeah. See, there's a document camera right there. See. So I. This is a picture I drew of. This is a little doodle I drew of my father. Right. My, my late father. This is his army hat. This is um. This is one of the flutes. This is a flute that he made out of bamboo when he was in in Okinawa in World War II. Here's the flute. <laughs> I have it right here. Um, to remind me of him. 
But anyway, when I'm drawing, um, when I want to draw on paper or even on my iPad, I can put my iPad here too. See, I can put my iPad under the document camera and then people can, then people can see me drawing with my hand. Um, they can see me using my hand to draw stuff. Um, but if I wanted to draw on paper and I wanted to use, um, I wanted to use a document camera to, to show that, then that's, then that's what I would do. So yeah, this, this is just an, uh, what you're seeing here is a, is an, a Logitech uh, 920 webcam that's like 10 years old that I have literally duct taped to, uh, to like an arm that used to belong to like a gooseneck lamp. All right, that's what this is. That, that's, that's how cheap you can get away with doing this kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, so that's what, that's what that's about. Um, um, Danny, would you put the, uh, the sales page back up? Yeah. So yeah. And, and then I love this part, um, how to set yourself up. So every gig turns into three more effort, effortlessly. It's, it, 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 it is a little bit, um, unfair how easy this is when you share your stuff, um, in, in, in the right way with the right hashtags and all that stuff, how you, how other people will discover you and want to hire you. Um, how to charge more by animating your notes. We talked a little bit about that already. Um, I'll show you some of my sample agreements uh, with all of the um, confidential material, you know, uh, obviously redacted. I don't need you to see my client's personal information, but I'll I'm happy to share some of my agreements that I've made with clients. That'll be kind of a, like some ancillary bonus material um, you know, and how to sell related services. So there are other, you know, the, the, the videos that you saw that come out of the, um, that come out of the live sketch notes, you can do these same kinds of things, not live, um, where you decide what pictures you're going to draw instead of listening, and you can animate those and make those into um, make those into explainer videos and things that people are willing to pay a lot of money for. Um, how to book your first gig in the next three hours, Daniel? Can we? Can we? I'm not sure we can guarantee that, but we can certainly we can certainly uh, you know make make that more likely. Um, repurposing your content to earn even more. So that has to do with taking the, the, the work you've already done and taking the whole thing or bits and pieces of it and, and, and repurposing that. So for example, a lot of the content that I do for clients um, live at an event, there are gonna be individual little pictures in there that are ways of taking those, extracting those and making them into basically a library of content. So one piece of content turns into a dozen pieces of content that they can use on their social and that you can um, use for them. Um, yeah, how to get, this is why I love, how to get hired not only for remote online, but also for in-person events, all expenses paid without having to lug huge boards and markers like in the old days. Yes. So if if you are able to get a gig that where people hire you for an in-person event, a lot of times what they'll do is we they will hook me up to, uh, with an HDMI cable to a monitor or to a projector and so people will still get the effect of being able to see this big, um, the, this big sketch note images the way we used to do with easels and boards, but there's no easels and boards. There's nothing to lug around. There's, there's no, um, you know, I used to, I used to have this humongous, I used to use a golf bag, a golf, a golf um, piece of, a piece of luggage used to transport golf clubs with wheels on the bottom for all of my easels and my markers and stuff. It was a big humongous piece of luggage. Then I had to bring the boards. Now I don't do any of that stuff. I mean, some people still do that. More power to them. Let them, you know, let them schlep all that stuff. Let them buy those expensive markers from Germany. I don't do that anymore. Um, and so, and how to parlay your note taking, you brought into the highly paid visual story consultant for companies that will hire you over and over again. That's what I'm doing now. So that's one of the reasons I'm happy to teach you guys how to do the visual note taking because I'm, I'm like trying to use my visual note taking as a stepping stone, as a door opener to get in with companies where I can use these skills to help them do, you know, map out, um, you know, like when you see behind me, this, this, this visual here, it, it's a little bit of a sales visual for, for some of the other things I do. So problem framing, um, you know, summarizing lots of data that's going on in their company and things. So it's not always live, live note taking. What I'm going to teach you in this course is about live note taking, but then you know, once you once a company hires you to do this, they might you might be able to say, hey, you know, why don't I come in and help you um, solve, you know, in your next brainstorming meeting or in your next strategy meeting and we'll visualize it on the wall, what you're saying so that people can have a better, you know, better memory of what's going on. So you can become if that's something you're interested in kind of more of a strategic consultant, you can charge a lot of money for that. 
Um, and so if you're already the sort of person who advises people on strategy or on problem solving or on brainstorming and things like that, um, this is a fantastic skill to have. If, you, if you're already somebody who works in a program like Miro or Mural, which you may have heard of, or Google, Google Jamboard, one of these online whiteboarding, um, shared whiteboarding um, spaces, you can import your drawings in there and, and have that be the basis of some of the work that you do. So I know it's a little bit sophisticated, maybe a little advanced. Not everybody's going to want to do it. Um, you could make a great living, uh, you know, great business out of just doing the, the, the live sketch noting. That's fine. But if you if you want to make a make a, a parlay that into a kind of a different sort of consultative career like I'm doing, we'll talk a little bit about that too. Awesome. Um, all right. So I looks like we've come to the end of uh, our questions here, um, Lisa. And okay. if if you have any additional questions, uh, now would be the time to to get him, uh, into the into the chat, uh, and we'll of course address it. Otherwise, we're going to. Uh, invite you to just watch your emails um, for however you are notified of, of this um, uh, of this Q a uh, when when the site is actually set up and, and ready to take orders um, uh, I, I will send out an email for you to to do that um, and to to join that way uh, and uh, and then I suggest you know you if you're interested in this uh, this is you know I, I Talk, I was talking to Lisa about it and, and we're like, well, what really is the the thing that we're we're truly helping people with? What's what are we really uh, what's really different about what we're doing uh, versus uh, other other books you can get on sketch noting, et cetera. And, and that is the business side of it, the actual yeah. uh, marketing of it, the the, uh, the the getting of gigs. Uh, all of that, because um, there's, you know, there's, there's other resources out there if you want to learn to sketch note, but uh, learning the sketch note to, to actually get paid. Well, that's a, that's a horse of a different color, right? Yeah, it's so. true. And, and, and what I want to do pretty much with all the trainings that I do for on anything, um, there are lots of courses that are available that are very expensive that I'm, I'm thinking of one person in particular, who's really, you know, well known and does a lot of work. And, she will teach you absolutely everything about the theory of doing this and what and the philosophies and all kinds of techniques and things like that. And I'm like, that's great if you want to, um, you know, become extremely proficient in certain kinds of techniques and drawing and stuff like that. But if you just want to get started fast, get paid fast, get results fast, and it doesn't mean that I want you to do a lousy job. I just think that there's a there's a there's a level at which getting better at the drawing part of it isn't really going to give you better results, isn't going to give your clients better results. They don't really care. They do not need art. They need um, communication. And to me, what makes this important is that whoever is doing the speaking or whatever content that you are capturing, you know, the fact that, I mean, it's really kind of a tragedy that someone will will, will put all this work and effort and, and genius into what they're communicating. And it just, it just disappears into the into the stratosphere. The second they're finished talking, people begin to forget. And what we're doing as visual note takers is um, is basically memorializing it in a way that people can really remember it, use it, keep it in a tangible form, so that it doesn't disappear. You're basically preserving the genius of of the people who are that you're whose whose notes you're capturing. And to me, you know. Beyond the money, that is a, a real contribution to, you know, just to society. And I know it sounds a little lofty, but to me, I, it's really something that's worth that's worth doing. That people and that people really appreciate. So if you like if you like it when people like you, if you like it when people give you applause and and compliments, you're going to love doing this because, regardless of how well you draw, people really really love it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, okay, and we have uh, one last question here from um, Annette, who says, "Will you offer payment options instead of a single uh, payment?" And the answer is, when we uh, not at its current price, because it's already like I could say like two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I think we arrived at this price because we realized you can ten x your investment, like even on your first gig, if you want, if if you've got yeah, you if you've got the guts to ask for that money, you can you can get it. So. Yeah. Yeah. So um, when when we when we raise the price, we may uh, we we may uh, offer um, 
uh, payments, but it likely will be um, pay payments that are more than $250. So right. I, I guess what I'm saying is uh, if it, uh, that if you want to do it, um, uh, the, get it while getting is good. Uh, yeah, that's all. All right. So uh, thanks so much uh, for all of your questions. We, we really appreciate it. And um, uh, again, look for uh, an email from me and or uh, Lisa, um, along with a replay link to, to this uh, training as well. Um, and, um, and then from here, then you'll be able to, um, you know, go to that page that I, I put in here, danielhallwebinars.com forward slash VNT. And uh, the next time you see that page, I promise the <laughs> the order checkout will be working. Uh, yeah. So uh, Daniel, is, is yeah. the link the, is the link to the replay the same as the link to have joined this this meeting or not? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. But I but I do know that um the, that I'm going to put this replay at the top of that page that I'm I just sent you to. Oh, okay, cool. That, that's where I that's where it will be. Oh, okay, so cool. If you want to know where the replay is going to be without having to look for it. Um, go to that, uh, go to that URL, danielhallwebinars.com forward slash VNT for visual note taker, uh, VNT, uh, and just bookmark it. And that's where um, uh, I'm going to put this at the very top of the page. Okay. So with that, thanks, Lisa. And thanks to all of you. Thank and we'll you. see you in the course again. Uh, it's, we will, we will do our first class on March 18th and second class on March 19th. And we might do a Q and A, um, a special Q and A after we may add, you know, I don't know yet. We're, we're, we don't we're, know. We don't know. I mean, we're, what, what, we, what we do know is that we will not leave you hanging. There will not be anything that will be missing. You'll be able to have everything that you need to get started, not just get started, but actually, you know, have it's a business in a box is what I want you to have. Um, that's it, it, it. You will, you will, you will be given everything to make it to make it possible for you to make a living doing this. Yep. Awesome. So once again, thank you. Bye, everyone. We'll see you Bye. in the class.